In this example, we want to find the area of the region bounded by 6x plus y squared equals to 16 and x equals to y. Okay, so in the figure here, we have our graph. Okay, All right, so this, this curve that you see right, is, the, right, is a function of y, which is given as 6x plus y squared equals to 16, and we have the identity function of y equals to x. Okay, so there's the bounded region that you see there. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go ahead for we need to go ahead and find the uh, bounds for this uh, for this function. Okay, all right. So we need to find the intersection points. Okay. All right. So remember that okay, the area okay is equal to all right. We're going to go between uh, C and D. Okay, those are going to be the bounds. Okay, we're going to find those eventually. And it's always right minus left. Okay, so it's going to be, so I'm just going to call the right function f of y, and the left function will be g of y. Okay, so, okay, so this is, we're going to express this in terms of y, so this is going to be uh, f of y. And up here, this is going to be g of y. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and first find the bounds. Okay. okay so we do that by um, we can take since x is equal to y, then we can replace the x with the y, okay. All right, so we can take, right, we can replace this x here, okay, with y, and that will give us six y plus y squared equals to sixteen, okay. And then from here we can set this equal to zero, so we have y squared plus six y minus sixteen equals to zero, okay. And so this is going to uh, we can go ahead and factor this. This is going to be y minus, actually, see, y minus 2 times y plus 8 equals to 0. So that's going to give us y equals to 2 or y equals to negative 8. Okay. Okay, so that means right here at this point, this is going to be, uh, since this is on the the graph of y equals x, that means this is minus 8, negative 8. And up here, that is x equals 2 and y equals to 2. Okay. Okay, so our okay, so the our represented piece, okay. So let me draw it in there. So that it so this is right, this is acting as a represented piece. So that is going between. Uh, negative 8 and and 2 okay in terms of in terms of y okay so this is horizontal right so our integral must be in terms of uh, y okay okay so this is again so here's our right, this is our bounded region okay all right okay so let's go ahead and set up our integral Okay, so we have the integral going from minus 8 to positive 2. Okay, so we have the, the right function. Okay, so, <clears throat> so we have 6x plus y squared equals to 16. Okay, so we need to express that as a function of y. So we, we do that by solving for x. Okay, so this is going to give us 6x equals to 18 minus y squared. Okay. And so then we divide by 6, so we're going to get, so we get 18 over 6, which reduces to 8 thirds minus 1 6 y squared. Okay, so now that is, right, so this is basically in the, right, a function of y. Okay. Okay, so now, 
But okay, so now we can continue to set up our integral. So we have all right, we're going to have eight thirds minus one six y squared okay, minus y because we have x equals y, but remember the integral needs to be in terms of y. Okay, okay so there's our setup. Okay, so now we can go ahead and uh, take the integral of this. Okay, so this is equal to uh, the integral from minus eight to two of eight thirds minus one six y squared minus y dy. Okay, so taking the integral of this, we're going to get 8 thirds y, okay, uh, minus 1 6 times y cubed over 3. Okay, so that's going to give us 1 over 18 y cubed minus 1 half y squared. And we're going to evaluate this from minus 8 to 2. Okay. Okay, so we have 8 thirds times 2 minus 1 over 18 times 2 cubed minus 1 half, 2 squared minus, okay, so we're going to plug in negative 8. So we have minus 8 thirds times negative 8 minus, so it's going to become plus now, 1 over 18. Actually, okay. So, this is positive. This is I haven't distributed the negative yet, so, so that's going to be minus. Okay, and then we have minus one half. Okay, so going back here. Sorry. So we have minus one over eighteen times negative eight cubed. Okay, and then we have minus one half negative eight squared. All right. Now I can go ahead and distribute the negative. So this is going to give us 16 thirds Okay, this is going to give us let's see minus 4 ninths minus 2 Okay, and then we're going to get uh, plus we have 64 thirds Minus 256 over 9 plus 32. Okay. So that's going to give us 250 over 9. Okay. And so that's the uh, that's the the area of the region that you see here in the figure. Okay. All right. So again, it's always we always take. Okay. If the functions are in terms of y, then we do right minus left. Okay. Take the difference, and then and then your bounds will be in terms of y. Okay. Um, 